Good morning my lovers, I'm back out on my bike. I'm gonna cycle to a new church today. Hopefully, I don't meet anyone coming around this corner. Oh, there's a pesky gate, I'm gonna have to stop. Oh, oh we're, on that, we're on that same railway track. The one that transports uh, rocks. You can tell that the tracks have got rust on them. They're not used very often. Right, you're gonna have to wash my hands with uh, sterilizer after using this here gate, me thinks. Oh. 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 Oh, look at the beautiful hawthorn up there. Stunning. Oh, what's that plant there? It's got little purple flowers on it. And smaller leaves. Probably uh, come out of someone's garden. Right, it's a lovely little track, this one. I think it's an old um, railway. Not a railway, a... Um, oh, what's it called? Trackway. There used to be some coal mines around here and they had smaller railways to sort of, like, transport the, uh, the, the coal. So it's been converted into a cycleway. Oh, not so, what's the name of these? Tra they're called tram lines or something along, that, along those lines. So yeah, this, this place is riddled with coal mines. That's why it's called Culpit Heath. That's where we're going. Oh, duck! I'm a bit earlier in the morning because otherwise this place is going to be heaving with public. You know, because the uh, Colbert Heath is a biggish town. And uh, oh, it's a robin right on the path. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> and it's, yeah, it'll be heaving later on, so get out nice and early and miss all of the heaving amounts of public. Oh, such a lovely country we got here. Birds are up in the trees. He's somewhere up there. I got my new camera coming today with a bit of luck. It's coming today at three, between three and four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, this company has told us uh, exactly what time it's arriving, which is pretty good, isn't it? Uh, back onto the old trackway. Somewhere down here, there's a Roman road that crosses the, uh, the fields. Somewhere down this track. It's obviously underground now, it's like metres under the ground, but um, yeah, a Roman road. Imagine that. 2000, we we're on an a, a 1800s track, which used to be a railway track. Well, a small railway track for carrying coal. And then uh, we got another track somewhere around here, underpass in the ground. It's 2,000 years old. Oh, bit of gravel there. Oh, look at this lovely oak tree that's coming up. Oh, bit bumpy. It's a lovely little track, this one. Zipping through the countryside. There's another one there, look. Was it 500 years to grow, 500 years to season, and 500 years to rot? That's what they say. Oh, I've come into an avenue of oak trees. Must have been planted a long time ago. An avenue of oaks. Oh, stunning.
the good old English oak. We beat the French and the Spanish with our armadas of ships. Oh, my battery, uh, not battery, me. I wasn't pedalling fast enough. Disengages the motor when you're not pedalling fast enough. And then we got bluebells. There's a bit of a uh, jack by the hedge over there, and little white flowers. A little bit of a. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, let's try and pedal a bit faster. All right, let's try and pedal a little bit faster. But it's a beautiful spot. Oh, look at that one there. That must be at least 500 years old. Oh, look at the width of it. It's a monster. Now, that white stuff, apparently, one of my subscribers said, it's called cow parsley. So, that's cow parsley. We're coming into civilization now. We're getting near to it. But look at these oaks. Look at that one. That's hundreds of years old. Oh, I can see some building work going on up here. Someone's doing some building. A lot of building work been going on in this lockdown that we've had. I've seen builders all over the place. Oh, 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 ah, bumpy bit. Is it a builder? Oh no, it's just a bit of um, a bit of a farm. A bit of a ramshackled, a bit of a farm, a bit ramshackled. Right, I'm coming into civilization now. It's a bit looks a bit awkward. Oh, you see that there? Look, horse chestnut, conquer trees. Yeah, that's a Victorian bridge with the horrible modern electrified rails on the top. Ugh, disgraceful. They should just use steam engines on old railways like this, personally. Look at it, it's an eyesore. Uh, the, probably the biggest church I've been to so far. This one's quite big, it's got a huge graveyard. Huge. Lots of graves. So uh, we're gonna have a good rummage round and uh, look at the size of the U over there, monster. So I'm going to have a good rummage round and see what we can find, see what's interesting. See if I can find the oldest grave. Oh, look at that from a ewe. He's a monster. It's not as big as that one I saw in that graveyard with the funny carving on the back of the church, but uh, he's still been here for a long time. That was probably planted when the church was put in. It's got to be about, I reckon probably about 1800s church. But this is why it's called Culpit Heath. It's got some fresh graves over here. Look, they've dug down six foot. Just six foot down. And look at all the coal in there. Look at that. Look, there's a seam of coal right there. You could literally dig an open cast coal mine in your back garden. Look. Coal right in, in your... Just six foot down. Amazing. John Turner. And James Kendall. They haven't got proper stones yet, but I expect they will do. Oh look, there's the crypt. The crypt. Let's have a look down there. Mm, there it is. It's down to the crypt. That's where all the posh people go to be buried. It's the peasants that have to get be buried outside. That's a nice one, look. You must have been wealthy. Oh, it's gone a bit blurry. Uh, heart, does it say something? Heart. Cologne. Something heart. 1878. Got some posh people in there, look, three in a row. Right, I'm, I'm having a job to find the oldest one. I think it's probably because this church is not that old. 
Probably a lot of people in here that died in, down the coal mines, having like fires and collapses and, you know, it's a, it's a dodgy o occupation, coal mining. You have explosions and all sorts. Oh look, it's quarter to eleven. Yeah, quarter to eleven. Well, that one, that one was put in a bit too close to the yew tree. Look, he's pushing it over. Mm -hmm. That one could be quite old, but look, it's all uh, crumbling. Eighteen eighty-seven. Actually, there might, might be a few that died down the coal mines. I'll have a look round. Well, that's a nice one. Look at that. And down there it says, in grateful memory of Joseph Elms, uh, Bristol Miners Association. 1925. Yeah. So he might have died down the mines, or he just could be an older person who died. Doesn't say. That's a posh one. That's a bit of a sad one, look, there's pictures of them. There's some pictures of them. Two people. Must have been a car crash or something along those lines. We've got a blackbird. Oh, where's he gone? Oh, don't charge off. I got two blackbirds. And one brown, one black, so it might be male and female. Oh, we got a soldier. Uh, he was a gunner. I used to be a gunner. Uh, 66 Searchlight Regiment. Gloucester's TA. Oh, TA. 3rd of November 1940. That's definitely novel. Must be quite heavy, these stones. Florence. 1916. Oh, we've got another soldier, private. Let's put his number up. Uh, P. Cor Corcor Corcoran. Cor yeah, Cor however you pronounce that. Uh, General Service Corps. 1944, age 41. Yeah, I reckon there's a bit of a coal mine underneath these gravestones. You never know. I knew someone that had a... He, bought, he built a porch on the back of his house. A porch. And uh, suddenly the, it started to crack away from the house. And when they investigated it, there was a coal mine under his house. <laughs> Whoops. Right, that's enough uh, churches for one day. Let's uh, go back down to that river. I want to film a bit more of that uh, kingfisher if I can. Oh, I've come down to this river, hoping to see the... Uh, oh, I can see a duck. <laughs> hoping to see this kingfisher. Uh, but there's too many people around. There's too many people mowing the lawns, making a racket, and uh, doing stuff. So we ain't going to see no kingfisher. It's a lovely spot. Oh, he's flying. <laughs> he was a bit of a bigger bird to follow. Any fish? 
Uh, can't see any. There's a chap over there. He's mowing his lawn with a one of those nets on that you you wear when you've got bees. There's too many people making a lot of noise. You gotta be super quiet and still if you wanna get kingfishers. No fishing private property. Oh, we've got a little wheel up for, to, to moor your boat. I'll get in that river one day and get a nice waterproof, I think the CTX is waterproof but I haven't used it underwater, I don't want it to, uh, there might be seals and all sorts of things gone on it so I don't think I'll bother. I'll get an independent waterproof metal detector and then we can get in the river and look for some treasure. But yeah, lovely spot, look at that, right next to the church. Oh. There's some kids behind me on a swing. <laughs> I actually do know them. I've metal detected their garden. They don't recognise me though. That was a while back. Yeah. What a lovely spot. Right, I'm going to find somewhere to have a can of beer. Somewhere nice and quiet and away from the public. I've got a bit of a track down by the river. Sneak down here so I can see anything. These kingfishers are usually very solid trude. Solid trude? Solitary? So I doubt we're going to see anything, but we can have a try. Not this spot I could um, sit down if I can see the this, the length of the river. I can get in here and if I could see the whole length of it. See if he lands on something. What you need is like a stick or something stuck in the bank. And they'll come and land directly over a pool and they'll land on it and they'll look for minnows and things but I don't think we're going to get anything here unless any sort they're going to have to listen out for bird song I don't know if they actually do any bird song but uh, they might do it'll be nice getting in this river one day it looks quite deep might need a snorkel Could be a good spot just here. And stand next to this gate for like an hour. With my super duper telephoto lens. Yeah, I reckon that tree just overhanging the river would be perfect for a little spot. There's an horse over there. Looks like he could do with a bath. Go oh, look how tight this country lane is. I think you'd be hard pushed to get a car down here. You might have to buy a mini. 
It says slow on the road back there, it would have to be, wouldn't you? <laughs> You can see where tractors have been hitting the sides. Obviously tractors come down here, so it's got to be... It must be... They're quite wide tractors. Oh! Look, the pesky pylons are in the way. Some good big turbines there. Good big ones. They probably need those pylons for the electricity they're producing. I thought I'd turn the camera on because this little hamlet just here is absolutely stunning. The houses here must be worth millions. steam train coming up. Oh! Look at that. What a lovely little place. Oh, what a lovely day. I've come to another railway bridge. I'm on a different one. There's lots of railway bridges around here. Oh, I got a pot. I got a Today we've got a can of old speckled hen. Yeah, lots of rewards. It's good stuff this is. Oh. A bit gassy, it's been jumping around in the back of a bicycle on, in my panniers, so it's even more gassy this one. Lots of banging going on. Mm. Oh, really nice. Mm. That's a quality L, 5%. Very nice. I've started metal detecting again. If you want to see my metal detecting videos, you've got to pop over to Patreon. Uh, it costs in the UK about 80p a month or a dollar in the US. Um, and obviously varying different prices around the rest of the world. Uh, if you want to see it, it's on Patreon. I'm not putting it on YouTube for the time being. Good morning, my lovers. I'm back out on the fields, woohoo! Plum tree just there. I'll have to come back here in the in the autumn, pick some plums. Just coming up just here, plum tree. Uh, yeah, so yeah, if you want to pop over to Patreon, uh, you can uh, go and watch my metal detecting videos. There's a link in the description of how to get there. Right. Top up my beer. I'm going to polish this off because it's such a nice day and then I'm going to head off home and get to work on this here video. And that plum tree is quite big. Just lean over and grab them. Looks like Victoria Plum. Yeah, get, get me a little grabbing stick, you know, those things you're picking up litter. If you just lean over and pick the plums off the tree. Oh, it's a beautiful spot. Oh, yeah, I'm glad to be back metal detecting. It's, uh, 
oh, it's such a relief, like, you know, it's such a relief. You know, the, you know, the aggravation, the pressure is, was, was at boiling point and it's now sort of like the pressure's been released and it's plummeted. Oh, actually, it's got some plums on there. Obviously, they're only little this time of year, but it's definitely a plum. Yeah, no, they'll soon be nice and ripe and juicy. We'll have to come back here when they're ripe and juicy. Mmm, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, almost. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Got a lot of cars about today. Anybody would think that the um, lockdown's been eased. There's like cars zipping up and down here today. Right, I'm going to head off home, drink this beer, head off home, and we're going to put the video together. Cheers! The rain I have never had but one true love.